time for another Yu-Gi-Oh openings. And today we have five packs of uh, Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh. Uh, and as with a few other things, this is um, a five cards per pack kind of thing. Also, weirdly I've noticed it features um, Yugi rather than um, Yami Yugi. Although, I mean, because, well, Yami Yugi is the Pharaoh, surely. Anyway, um, yeah, take a quick look at the back, see how many cards are in this set. Okay, so there's like 46 overall, I think, 24 commons, 10 rares, 6 super rares, and 6 ultra rares. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into this. So, as with uh, many other sets, I don't know anything about this set, really. I just bought them because there was a Black Friday deal on, and uh, I like the name of the set, basically. So, um... Yeah, let's just jump straight in with Mystical Beast of Circuit. Oh wow, I see. It's a very hideous look. Oh cool, it's got the um the eye thing. I think that's like the Millennium Eye thingy. Uh we have Silent Swordsman level three. Ooh, very nice. Where is his head? Oh, that's his head. Okay, sorry, I I couldn't make out what the hell was going on even in that uh, thing there. We have Exchange of the Spirit. Sorry, let me zoom out a little bit here. Ah, oh, spare. We have Exchange of the Spirit. Uh, we have Silent Magician level 8. Oh, okay, cool. So there's lots of Silent Magicians in this set, apparently. Very nice. I've never heard of the archetype, but whatever. Ooh, and we have a rare, and that is Dragon Shrine. Ah, lots of dragon bones. Okay. An interesting shrine, I suppose. It's a bit like that, um, that massive uh, skeleton thing in the deserts of Tatooine in Star Wars New Hope. Um, right, well, let's get into the second pack. Let's see, can we get more than one super rare out of these five packs? Um, I mean, there's a decent chance, because there's like 10 rares, and 6 super rares, and 6 ultras, so, you know. Uh, anyway, let's begin with Temple of the Kings. Um, again, as I said, I don't understand, I don't really know what any of these cards do, um, so I'm not going to stop on any ones in particular. We have Yellow Gadget, oh, I know about the Gadget cards, see, oh, yo, Spirit Message E, oh, that's cool. I remember I had, um... N or L or something, because didn't it, like, didn't it spell out final or something? What did this spell out, then? Oh, okay. Um, oh, well, I suppose the E, oh, yeah, E is in final, isn't it? Um, I'm an idiot. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So we've got two of the cards of final now. Nice. Ooh, and we have, um, oh, wait a second. I think this means we've got a super rare uh, behind it. We have a Metal Reflect Slime. Uh, very nice. Oh yeah, boys! Ooh, this is an ultra rare, I think. We have a Silent Swordsman. Just the um, base level Silent Swordsman. Very nice. Yo. That's a very nice illustration there. He's uh, he's a cool guy. He, he keeps changing his appearance with every level. Maybe that's kind of the gimmick? I'm not sure. Anyway, that, that's... Um, it's been pretty cool, actually. So yeah, it's the usual tell I've noticed because I opened some uh, legendary duelist packs uh, recently. Is if you get a um, rare in the fourth slot of the pack, it means the next one's a super or ultra, which is kind of nice because it's hype, and you still get a rare, which is very cool as well. Okay, let's begin with Silent Swordsman, level 3. Then we have... Oh, Helpo Emma! Yo! Okay, so um, I'm actually watching the um, Battle City uh, finals at the moment. Um, it's just like the end of the Marek vs. Joey duel. And um, yeah, Helpo Emma is the thing that Marek put in Joey's deck that kept like wrecking his stuff because he would discard a random card every time. Oh, yo, Sangan! Oh, I remember him, because, uh, <laughs> okay, my, my camera is recognising that as a face, the three eyes, that, it's a bit weird. But yeah, oh man, Sangan, because um, he was in one of the first sets, I believe. Uh, we have Dark Necrophere, okay, I feel like I've heard someone play him. And our rare is Dark Magician of Chaos, 
Yo, okay. Man, I'm pulling some really cool cards today, as in, like, ones I recognise. Um, I'm sure overall maybe these aren't, like, super cool, but... I don't know, for me, it's a bit of uh, it's a bit of nostalgia, really, which is part of why I bought this set, because, um, you know, I thought at the very least, with the naming convention, Rival of the Pharaohs, that, like, it would be cards maybe I'd have seen in the anime, because obviously the Pharaoh is very, um, you know. Uh, anyway, Blast Held by a Tribute. Okay, that I assume is... Ooh, yo, we got F! Ooh, I, I guess all of Destiny Board is in here then, so like, that's cool. Obviously that's the full effect there, I think, like if you can put him all down or something, you win the duel, I can't remember. We have Red Gadget, another card I recognise, um, yes, so, next up we have Exchange of the Spirit again, and our rare, ooh, it's a fusion. Is Thousand Eyes Restrict? Oh, wow, really? That's the, um... Yeah, isn't that, um... Pegasus's thing? Yo! This has been a really cool set, actually. Like... Yeah, a, a lot of... Pretty cool cards. Especially, like, back in the day, Magician of Black Chaos and Thousand Eyes Restrict was, like... I don't know, like... Well, at least amongst me and my other ten-year-old friends um, who got into Yu-Gi-Oh! when it started, like, you know, they were considered some of the coolest cards. So, um, yeah, wow, that's really cool. Okay, then, last pack. Can we pull a Super or Ultra from this? We have Dark Necrophia. We have, ooh, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Yo, really? Okay, then. Man, there's blue cards and everything in here. That's, wow, that's a really fucking big level. Um, yeah, okay then. Uh, yeah, nice. Exchange of the Spirit again. <gasps> Yo, okay, we do have a Super Ultra. Um, uh, this one is a YZ Tank Dragon. That looks a bit like Gilmon from uh, Digimon Tamers, but okay. Ah, that makes sense. So it's Y Dragon Head and Z uh, Metal Tank. Okay. And we're finishing with an Ultra or Super or whatever. It is uh, Silent Paladin. Ooh, nice to go along with Silent Magician. Ooh, she's, she is a cute. Um, bit Fire Emblem y, really. Oh man, the, the hollow effect is so fucking cool. Like, that sword is blue but also glistens and stuff. So yeah, that um, that was a very good round of pack openings. I managed to get two super rares or ultra rares. I'm still not fully uh, sure of the difference. I think I think they were ultra rares because they got gold text. Um, but I can't remember. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to. You don't have to go. Uh, and yeah, as th as always, thank you very much for watching. I've put some playlists there and a subscribe button there if you want to. You don't have to though. And um, yeah, that about wraps it up for my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff for now. We don't have any more packs, but I may do in future. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.